A very useful new feature in Excel 2007 is the page layout view. Formerly, in earlier versions of Excel, you'd have to go and switch back and forth to the print preview to see how your, your uh, workbook or worksheet would actually look uh, before you send it to print. However, if you switch to page layout view, which is a fully interactive view, you'll see your worksheet as it would be if you were to print it out. Your headers and footers will be visible on the screen. You'll see where the physical page breaks will occur. You have the full ability to work within the worksheet cells, input data, input formulas, calculations, functions. You have the ability to adjust the margins, adjust the column widths and the row heights. Let's go ahead and take a look how we switch to that view. Here on the ribbon, coming over to the View tab, you have Normal, which we're looking at right now on the screen, and you have Page Layout View. I'm going to go ahead and click on Page Layout View, and then we're going to go ahead and discuss this view here. You also have the ability, uh, down at the bottom on the status bar, you have three little icons for three different views here. And you can actually use these little icons at the bottom as well. Um, here, I'm on Normal View. The icon in the middle, if you hover over it, you see it says Page Layout. I click there. That's the same thing as coming up to the View tab of the ribbon and going to Page Layout. Here, you see where it says Click to Add Header? You can simply click and type in your header. Notice when you do so, you activate a whole new element on the ribbon, the header and footer tools, then you have a design tab, and you have all the options to switch between header and footer, to insert when, uh, into your header or footer, page numbering, date, time, path and file name, sheet name, pictures. You have the other options here, different first page, different odd and even pages, and so on. So you can come right here into your screen. You can use the icons that are presented to you, or you can manually type in whatever you want to appear in your header. You have a left section of the header, a middle section, and a right section. If you want to switch between your header and footer, you have the navigation section here. Say go to footer. There it takes me down to the footer. I can click in the left, the middle, the right, and input what I'd like. Maybe I want to input my page number. I'm going to click in the center section of the footer. I'm going to click in page number and there it puts in the code for my page number. And once I click a cell on my worksheet, I see that that page number appears. Let me scroll back up. Okay, I can scroll over to the right using the horizontal scroll bar at the bottom. I see a physical separation between my sheets which visually tells me where the page breaks will occur. In this case, there is no data or no columns that would fall onto a second page that way. And if I go down, or if I scroll down, I'll see that once I get beyond the edge of the first page, I see again a physical separation. The next page, well, there's no data there either, because in this particular instance, everything fits. To adjust column widths, just as you would in normal view, I can come up here to the column headers, the uh, letters of the alphabet, I can move the cursor in between two letters. I can click the mouse button, hold it in, drag it to the right, drag it to the left. I can double click to automatically resize the column to fit the widest entry. I'll do it again here. I can expand out. Uh, so you retain all those abilities here in this view. I can do the same thing for the rows. But when I make row one taller, I can click and drag downward. There I go. I can make it shorter. And uh, the same thing with the rest of the rows. If I want to adjust the margins, I go into the ruler. I see that there's a ruler which gives me the physical dimensions of how my spreadsheet or worksheet would appear on a printed page. I can move the mouse, move my cursor over the shaded portion of the ruler, right between where the shaded portion is and the white portion. I get the two-way arrow. It tells me my left margin is at 0.7 inches. If I click in my left mouse button and drag it to the left, I see the adjustment here. And if I want to go to half an inch, I go to 0.5, I then release my mouse button, and now my left margin is at 0.5. If I want to do the same thing at the right side, I can come over to the right, go to the ruler, get the two-way arrow right in between the shaded and the white portion of the ruler, click, drag it over to the right from 0.7 down to 0.5, release it, and there we go. And I might need to work with my page settings as well here. 
So uh, this is a very useful view. You can do anything you need to do in Excel, work with your data. If I want to go ahead and input formulas, maybe I want to do an auto sum here and tally up the total number of automobile sales for the entire year for the different dealerships in this example. I can go back to the home tab of the ribbon. I can locate and click on my auto sum icon and the functions work the same as they do in normal view. Click and drag across. And there I have my totals going across horizontally. So again, in order to switch to the page layout view, all you have to do is go up to your view tab of the ribbon, change it from normal by clicking on page layout. The current view is highlighted in orange. This is a setting per worksheet. So if I click on my sheet two, sheet two is in normal view. Sheet three is in normal view. Sheet one is in page layout view. 